Okay, hi everybody. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Uh, so my name is Simon, and um, uh, I came in with a few of uh, my team here from Jakarta. We came in yesterday, and uh, we're really happy to be here in Milan. It's a cool place. So uh, thanks for having us. And I'm going to talk to you today about, uh, we're going to talk about uh, React, uh, React Native specifically, which is uh, for building mobile apps. Uh, so this is me. I'm a, I'm a JavaScript programmer. I've been doing JavaScript for a long time, and I really like React. Um, I, have a, I have a company in, um, uh, just outside of Jakarta, and so we build mobile apps using React, and uh, you can find me on, on Twitter there. Okay, cool. So how many people in here are programmers? Who, who build software. Okay, cool. Almost everybody, a lot of people in here. And so how many people have used React? Any kind of React, like on the web or, okay, good. And, and what about on mobile? Have built, have built mobile stuff with, awesome to hear, that's cool. Okay, so, um, so as you know, uh, React is from, is from Facebook, right? It's a technology from Facebook, uh, originally from around 2013. Um, and React Native, a few years later, in 2015, also from Facebook, is, um, is for, for building native mobile apps, right? And, and I think that's pretty exciting because if you think about what you saw in the, in the F8 uh, keynote today, uh, there was so much, almost every single one of the products that were mentioned were on mobile, right? I mean, besides the Oculus stuff, almost everything was on, was on mobile phone. And, and so I think that is, is the most important platform right now uh, because it's the platform that everybody has all the time on them. And so, can everybody hear me? Okay, I have to hold it closer. So when I hold it closer, it's right behind me so it sounds so loud. But yeah, so, so I think the, the mobile platform is, is definitely the most important platform uh, that we have for building software on right now. Um, and all of these cool technologies like, like the AI and the, uh, maybe more specifically the augmented reality um, right now is almost exclusively on the phone. And so some of the technologies that we're going to talk about today allow you to build stuff in, um, in, a, in a really cool modern way for that platform. So, so that's kind of just to tie in what we're going to talk about today with the rest of, of F8. React Native enables you to build high quality native iOS and Android apps quickly and easily. And so if you've, if you've used React, I, I think you start to realize how, um, how rapidly you can build certain things. <clears throat> it's free and it's open source and it's from Facebook. And maybe the important part, uh, one of the most powerful things about React, hello, about React Native, is is the developer experience. Because I mean, we could build mobile apps on using other other technologies before React Native, right? But but it was really difficult, and you had to have iOS developers, and you had to have separate team of Android developers, and a separate team for web developers, and uh, and the process was slow, and so. React Native brings this developer experience that I think is, is much more powerful than what we had before. So we want to talk about developer joy, right? So, so we want to talk about high performance, um, cross-platform with this developer experience that allows you to rapidly build almost like you're building for web. If you think about on web, you write some code, you press refresh, and you see your results immediately. And so that, that's what React Native does. And I'm going to show you uh, how to get started, and then we're going to build something in React Native, or at least see some code, uh, which is why I was asking if we have developers in the room, because we're going we're gonna to look at some code. So, so the, the first code that we'll look at is like React on web, if you've used it at all, is basically this, um, it's divs, right, and span, and input elements, and, um, and, and you kind of put what looks like HTML into your JavaScript. And the only difference on React Native, on mobile, is that we just use a different set of core elements. So we use view, and we use uh, text instead of span and, and div. <clears throat> so if this code looks at all familiar to you, then React Native should be really easy to get started. 
so I also need to talk about something called Expo, which is a tool that's, that, that works with React Native to, to make developing even easier. And so Expo is a set of tools, I guess, on React Native that give you more uh, ac access to more features than React Native Core has, and it makes building and running your code on the device easier. So, so I like to think of Expo as the kind of the, the web browser that allows you to run your, your, your web code. Um, it, is a it provides a similar thing for React Native, and, and we'll show you that in a minute. Um, and, and it helps you with deployment, with getting your app onto, um, onto real devices in the, in the world. So, um, so, so we'll look at the easiest way to get started with React Native, <clears throat> which is a tool called Create React Native App. And it looks like this. You go into your terminal, and, and this is on Mac, but you can do this on Windows, and you just say Create React Native App, and then you put the name of your app, and it just starts installing some packages, and it takes about 35 seconds, and then you get, uh, and then you get some code that you can write. And so the, when you first open app.js, you, uh, you, you kind of get this class. <clears throat> And inside this class, there's a render method. And inside there, you can just start putting views and texts together. And so if this code looks familiar to you, then you're, you're ready to get started with React Native. And so, so the, the third step is running the code on the device. And, and this is sort of where it gets uh, exciting. So you just run npm start or yarn start. And it, and it starts this packager. And so this is where the magic happens. You, you get this QR code in your terminal, right? Like in the middle of all of your text, you get this QR code. And then if you remember when I mentioned Expo earlier, so Expo is an app on, that you install on your phone. And you open this, this app called Expo, which has this like QR code reader. And you scan the QR code that you saw in your terminal, right? So remember, we're trying to get our code from our computer onto our phone just like we would do in, the, in a web browser, right? So we scan the QR code, um, and then we just like run this native app effortlessly on our phone, as easy as loading a web page. And so I'm gonna show you that now. So, so we'll get started with that. And so if you remember right, the first thing we did is, uh, we went over here and we did create React Native app. This is going to be difficult with this, with this microphone here. <laughs> I have to type with one hand. <laughs> or I have to like, like this, you know. <laughs> so the idea is here. I'll do that for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we'll just kind of crouch down here and, and write some code. <clears throat> cool. Thank you very much. Okay, so if you remember, we started with create uh, React Native uh, app, and, and then we just titled our app, right? Like, hello, Malang. And so what that does is that starts installing all of your packages. It starts loading, um, like creating your JavaScript files, and it, and it usually takes about 20 seconds. Um, so I, I've created one already for us, uh, just so that we don't have to wait for this to finish. The one I created, we just called my app, and so we just said uh, my app, like that. And then we'll just open this in our favorite editor, right? And so, um, and if you remember, we have this, uh, this app.js file that we showed you earlier with, with a view and some text. So we'll remove all this text and we'll, call, and we'll say, hello, Malang. And, uh, and we can change some styles. We'll say, uh, we'll add a new style. And so these styles are a little bit similar to CSS. And we'll call this style uh, welcome text. We'll just set the color to uh, blue. Okay, so what we've done is we've opened our initial file, we've changed the text, and we've added some color. Thank you. Thanks for holding the mic here. And so, and so the way we do it is we put a style on our text, and we and we use this welcome text. Um, and, and now we want to run this on our device, right? And so what we do is we say npm start. And this is the part where it gives us this QR code. And since I've already got Expo on my phone, uh, what I can do is I can scan that QR code. 
So uh, here's, here's our QR code, which is really large. Um, and I'm going to scan that on my phone uh, like this. And so I'll show you my phone in a second. So I scan this QR code. And, and while that's loading, let's show you, let's see if I can uh, put, put the phone on the screen here. So I'm going to try to get my phone onto the, onto the projector here. I'm going to close that. OK, so now we're opening this project. OK, so I'll open my QR code scanner here. And I'll go back to my QR code, and I'll scan it. Try to load this code that we wrote onto, onto, the, uh, onto the phone. So, so it's thinking. It's loading something. This kind of depends on the internet kind of working. Because ideally, so what's happening is so my phone is trying to load the code from my computer over the Wi-Fi. So, uh, so the idea is that when you, here it is, hello, Milan. So, so that's kind of small. So let's say we want to make that a little bigger. So why don't we make the font size, uh, why don't we make it 30? That should be a little bigger. So I'm going to press Command S to save it. But what I want you to see is when I press save, what happens on the phone. So the phone immediately, the phone immediately starts loading what I've typed, and it refreshes right away. So. Um, so that's the really that's the really quick intro into uh, into getting started. And so the idea, the important part to note about this, if you've used React Native in the past, you have to install Xcode and you have to compile stuff and you have to run this like you have to go through a bunch of steps. Um, and so the idea is that that the 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 React Native developer tools have matured a lot in the last two years. Um, React is about two years old now. React Native, sorry, about two years old. And so the, the tools around React have, have gotten so good now that I didn't have to open Xcode or Android Studio. I just had to install this app on the phone, this open source app called Expo, and just scan a QR code. And my code just kind of loads on the phone, and it, and it runs. But there's something even cooler. So, so bonus tool, there's something called Snack. And Snack is if you go to, has, has anybody heard of that? So we're going to go to snack.expo.io. And so when we go there, it loads an empty project for us in our browser and displays us the QR code right away. So what I'll do is I'll just scan the QR code like right from the screen here. I think this will work. So I'll just scan the QR code there. <clears throat> and it should figure out that I've done it. We'll give that a second. I turned off my Wi-Fi to see if it's a little faster. So it immediately realized that, I, that I've loaded the app on the phone. And so now it just shows me the code. So now I can just edit the code in the web browser. And I didn't have to do anything else. So you just have to go to a website. Um, scan the QR code, and now we can start writing code. So if we look at my phone here, we, we've got kind of like what we saw before. But this time, we're just using this website. So if we flip back over to the website, and we, with one hand here, we change this text to say, like, Malang is cool. Let's try that. So whenever I press save here, Oh, I didn't even have to press save. It kind of just already updated. So on the phone, it's just like automatically updated. <clears throat> so the idea is, um, so if you take away one thing from kind of this F8 stuff, it's that like I think, um, I think the future of a lot of this tech is that we got to get people to build stuff, right? I mean, um, we, need, we need all of the developers to, to be building really cool apps. And I think the future... Um, as a platform is, is the mobile phone. And so if everybody was building cool stuff uh, for the mobile platform, um, we, we can do some really amazing things. So with the demo part over, we'll switch back to the slide. So this approach using Expo, so what this approach gives us is it gives us all of the core React Native libraries, which are built in which is mostly access to touches, like, like the whole touch system. Um, it gives us access to like location and, and those kind of things. Plus, it gives us extra stuff like audio, video, 
Um, and, and this is all what Expo gives us. We get this QR code reader, we get maps, we get uh, location services, we get social logins. And so a lot of the tools that you need to build an app already exist, right? They're already built by other people and we can just use them uh, pretty easily or, or at least easy to get started with. So what do we, what do, we do when we wanna publish our app? We can just, we, we can use the Expo platform that we've been using and we can send someone a link and if they have the Expo app on their phone, they can run the link and they can, they can demo our app. But eventually we wanna get our app to the App Store, right? <clears throat> so the way we do that is uh, we can use this build tool and we can either build for Android or we can build for iOS. And then that does not require you to have Xcode or Android Studio, it just kinda does all the work for you. Um, and then it just gives you this APK in Android or this IPA in iOS and you can submit it to the App Store. Um, or you can detach the, the project from Expo and you can create your own, uh, you, you can build it yourself using Android Studio or Xcode. And so we've kind of walked through all the steps between getting started, installing the tool, writing some code, and then viewing it on the device. And so uh, we'll just talk briefly about when to use or why to use Re React Native. So uh, one is the developer experience, right? It should feel as easy as, as writing a web page where you can just refresh. You can just write some code and refresh and see your changes uh, on, on your device. Um, and I think the other really powerful thing is cross-platform. Like we don't wanna write twice. We don't wanna write for iOS and then write for Android. Um, I mean, there are, there are probably some companies who maybe only care about one device or the other, but in general, we wanna reach as many users as we can. So ultimately, when to use React Native is, is always, I think. Um, for the most part, I haven't seen anything that like, cannot be done in React Native. I mean, Grab is using React Native. The new Skype app from Microsoft is, use, is completely built in React Native. Big parts of Instagram are built in React Native. So like, React Native has the power to do most of what we need it to do. So it's easy to get started. Rapid prototyping, if you need to build a basic implementation of your idea to show an investor to get your startup going, uh, that is exactly what, what React Native can help you do. Plus bonus, you can do over the air updates because React Native is written in JavaScript. We can push the JavaScript across the network to the device without always going through the app store for updates. And it's cross platform. So thanks for listening. Um, Special thanks to the Developer Circles Malang and Facebook for sponsoring this, which is a really cool event. So, and you can find me on GitHub and you can find me on Twitter with SSTUR underscore. So thank you very much.